I will always have to live with some uncertainty. Every time I go to one of these appointments, I don't know what's going to happen. You think about your kids and them not having a mom. The concern for me is that progress has either stopped and there's a recurrence or that the radiation is just not working and the tumor is active again. I was definitely a person who probably put eye health on the back burner. Going to the eye doctor, I mean, it was just the critical turning point for me. If I wouldn't have done that, who knows what would have happened down the line. In July of 2017, I went to my eye care professional and I mentioned there was some flashing in the right corner of my eye. On the dilated eye exam, there was what they call a freckle or nevus inside of my eye. It was a little bit shocking to go in thinking you're just getting your prescription updated and then come out a couple weeks later and have cancer of the eye. This is probably the best image right here. Dr. Harbour is my ocular oncologist. The first time that I heard about uveal melanoma, I read what it was, a uh, you know, potentially fatal type of cancer. Melanomas in the eye, just like ones on the skin, uh, develop the ability to spread with time. The smaller the tumor is, the less chance that it will have spread at the time we, we treat it. This really points out the importance of uh, regular eye exams uh, for individuals, not just waiting until you have symptoms, but uh, to see an eye professional uh, once a year or so uh, to have your eyes checked. When you read those types of statistics, it's, it's scary. When you have little kids, 10 years doesn't really buy you that much. There's so many things that can be detected with a comprehensive eye exam. The appointment was probably the best possible outcome. It's likely that the early detection prevented metastasis. The tumor is not active anymore, and importantly, we were able to preserve the vision in my eye. Vision and eye health are really important and need to be prioritized in your life.